What is up guys? The next Coolify service that we're going to be self-hosting is called Vikunja and it is a task management platform and once we self-host it you'll get an application that looks like this where you'll be able to create tasks and also view them in different ways. So let me show you how to self-host it. We're going to go into Coolify and in the projects tab hit the add button and call your prod. Well, I'm going to call my project Vikunja tutorial, but call it whatever you want select the production environment click on add a new resource and then search for Vikunja in the search bar and i'm going to select the one with postgres then i'm going to select my server so i have two servers and i recommend that you do something similar so that you have coolify running on one server and your apps running on your second server and that's in case one of your apps crashes it won't crash your coolify server so I'm going to select my second server and here we are pretty much done. I do see that uh, my Postgres is missing a name. So I'm just going to add one here and hit save. And now we're ready to deploy. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, actually, before we do that, you can also change the domain URL here so I can shorten it like this and hit save when you're done. And now I'm going to deploy. So let's go ahead and do that. So now our container has started. I'm going to close this window and it is showing running unhealthy. That's most likely because it's missing a health check. So let me just confirm that. And sure enough, it is missing a health check. So we can ignore this, uh, this message. And then we're going to select the domain and open it up in a new tab. And there we go. We have successfully self-hosted Vikunja. Um, you need an account to sign in so you can go ahead and create one and uh, give yourself a username, email, and password. Then hit create account, and that's it. And then you have completely self-hosted Vikunja, and you can start by adding your first task, which will automatically go into the only project that you have right now. So if I add one here, and I go into first task, it's called inbox for some reason. So if you go into inbox, then you can view your task and you can add other ones here as well. And here I'm using the list view, but you can use also a Gantt chart if you have date set and a table view as well as a Kanban view. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. This is how you self host Vikunja. It's super simple to set up. So I personally preferred self hosting plain just because it seemed like it had a lot more features and closer to something like uh, Trello, but there is a world where just using something simpler is just better as well. You don't have to overcomplicate things. And so if you like this video, um, it's part of a Coolify series where I go through every single service on Coolify. And if you found this video helpful, consider subscribing and I will see you in the next video.